I really feel that the future of our nation is going to depend on how we deal with abortion. When you read through, you know, the Old Testament, you know, when you read in Judges 3, 4, 5, and 6, and the children of Israel did evil in the sight of the Lord. And did the Lord just sort of say, you know what, y'all are on your own. No, he actually strengthened their enemies. He delivered the children of Israel into captivity. What did they do wrong? They did evil on the side of the Lord. 63 million babies created in the image of God whose lives, I mean, there's no way that you can think that that does not qualify as doing evil in the sight of the Lord. A million babies. Okay, let's go right here. Listen to this again. What did they do wrong? They did evil on the side of the Lord. 63 okay, so they did evil in the sight of the Lord. Talking about the children of Israel. Now, uh, so, I mean, everything he said is right, except uh, the message that he's conveying here in that he's comparing Israel to America all right that's a big mistake all right so first of all let's understand that God strengthened the enemies of Israel and so think about this because God did that because the children of Israel did evil in his sight now what do you think the enemies did. You think they were good? They did good in the sight of God? No. Not at all. They were worse than the children of Israel, but that wasn't the point. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> the in the Old Testament, the children of Israel were led into captivity, and essentially there was consequence for the evil that they had done. Now, let's fast forward. That's still true today. That's always been true that there's consequence for sin. But today, the nation of God or the children of Israel is Christians, not America. I guarantee it. America is just one of many nations. We Christians are the holy nation of God, just like the children of Israel were the holy nation of God. The difference is uh, when Jesus came, <clears throat> he changed everything, changed it all. So let's take a look at a verse here. Therefore I say unto you, the kingdom of God shall be taken from you and given to a nation bringing forth the fruits thereof. And um, this is, I just want to show at least two verses here. So this is not a standalone verse. 1 Peter 2 verse 9, but ye are chosen generation, a royal generation priesthood and holy nation a peculiar people that you should show forth the praises of him who has called you out of darkness into his marvelous light so the nation of God went from being a group of people you know basically in the Middle East to now the nation of God is available for everybody all right so it's no longer uh, of Israel, it's no longer of Judah. It's available for anybody that believes in the Lord Jesus Christ. The people that believe in the Lord Jesus Christ are the children of Israel. We are the seed of Abraham. And, you know, we can confirm that. Let me see if I can find. There it is. Now to Abraham and his seed were the promises made. He saith not and his seeds as of many, but as of one. And to thy seed 
which is Christ. And if you be Christ, then are you Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise? There is no other way to salvation. There is no other way to everlasting life. It's only by Jesus Christ. That's, that's not ever changed. It's always been that way. And salvation has always been by faith. Righteousness has always been by faith. All right. And it, so when we look at this, you know, this right here, you know, this is ridiculous. This is people that have absolutely no understanding of the Bible whatsoever trying to say that, well, if America is bad, does evil, then God is going to punish America. As if every other country in the world is not full of wickedness and evil. This whole world is full of wickedness and evil. And this whole world is going to be destroyed. Guarantee it. So this idea, well, we got to support our leaders that's well I, I don't know about that buddy you want to support evil men it's because of evil men that we have such laws as abortion and we have such a corrupt legal system it's because of evil men and why would you support that I mean look this world is run by money that should be obvious. The laws that are on the books are dictated by those with money, not by those with morals. What we see in man's law is not representative of, at all of the law of Moses. The law of Moses is perfect. The law of man is driven by money. All right, so I guess that's probably enough. Let me see if I can find one verse. The law of the Lord is perfect. The law of Moses is perfect. You compare that with man's law? I mean, people are committing murder and getting, what, two years? Getting their sentences reduced they're getting their charges reduced to manslaughter you know there's a guy I think I heard about uh, Alec Baldwin he's gonna be facing uh, murder charges I think I, I don't really know but it'll be interesting because it, if man's law was perfect the that guy that sh that killed somebody he would be executed already Imagine, you go out and commit murder, and less than two weeks later, you're executed. That would really hamper people that like to murder, right? Instead, well, what do we got? We got people committing murder, and committing multiple murders, going to jail, getting released, and committing murder again. And people aren't afraid to commit murder. They commit murder, they'll be in jail for a little bit and they'll get out by the time they're 35, 40 years old. I mean, <laughs> what kind of world are we living in? This is not God's holy nation. We Christians are God's holy nation. All right, so Psalm 19, verse 7. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure making wise the simple 